And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Tribal. This was a deck that a viewer had put together that uh, playing it over in ranked and having fun with it and says, you know, basically says it's a lot of fun to play and wanted me to try it out and uh, took a look at it and it looks really sweet. So um, they call it Anivia cloning uh, program. I'm calling it Anivia Tribal because we're trying to make as many Anivias as possible. And so like with today being the new week, got some more uh, champion wild cards. So we got some Anivias now. So we're going to be playing some Anivia decks this week because there are a lot of different sweet ways to play Anivia. But Anivia, seven mana champion, uh, two, four. Whenever you attack, you do one to all of the enemies. That means uh, all of their units and their nexus. But if it dies, you just uh, instead... You get an Egnivia, which is actually, I don't know, that's pretty pretty clever. So Anivia turns into Egnivia, which is just an O2, and then start of the round, so beginning of the next turn, uh, transfer back into Anivia. Um, if if you're enlightened, if you're enlightened, then turn back into Anivia. So basically, uh, you do want to get you do want to get enlightened um, as fast as possible, so that you can have the. Uh, Transformed Anivia, wherever it attacks, it does two to all the enemies, turns into Agnivia, comes back into Anivia, and so on. Okay, so you get you get what's going on. All right, so the reason why this is Anivia Tribal is because besides just casting Anivia, we have ways to to uh, bring it back. If it dies, we have Rekindler that brings it back. Now you can have your let's say you have your first Anivia, they kill it, you get the egg. You can still play Rekindler and get Anivia back, and then the egg will turn it into another Anivia, so you can get two Anivias and play that way. Um, then we also have Spectral Ma Matron. Eight mana, six six fearsome. Whenever you play it, pick an ally in hand, summon an exact copy of it, but it's ephemeral. So we'll have an ephemeral Anivia when we play the Matron. But again, when Anivia dies, you get the egg. So basically we'll just uh, get the Anivia, we'll get the egg, and then whenever the egg dies, we get the regular Anivia back. Um, or, yeah, or we can do that with Rekindler also. Good call. Um, <clears throat> we have Chronicler of Ruin. K play, kill an ally, then revive it. So if we have Anivia in play, then we play Chronicler of Ruin. We kill it. We make the egg. And then you get a new Anivia. And then the egg turns into Anivia again. So that's another way to get multiple Anivias in play. And then finally, we got uh, Splinter Soul. Summon the exact copy of an ally, it's ephemeral, and plus one, plus one. So if we have Anivia in play, again, play a Splinter Soul, clone your Anivia, and now you got two of them. You're, one of them's ephemeral, it'll die, but it turns into the egg, and so bring it back. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so this, this is pretty sweet. So that's basically what we're trying to do. So we're trying to survive long enough. We got three Avalanche uh, to play some defense. We got Catalyst of Aeons to ramp to get us to Enlightened as fast as possible, so the eggs turned into regular Anivias. Also with ramping with Catalyst of Aeons, we got Ruinations to kill all units. So, you know, we're trying to keep the board clear and get our Anivia, you know, unlock our Anivia power. All right, let's go. This is going to be my first time playing Anivia in Constructed. Uh, so let's play some Anivia Tribal in Ranked. Let's go. This could be pretty crazy. But if we play against real aggressive decks, we could be dying very fast too. So Definitely getting rid of all those. Um, I'll just get rid of Chronicler of Ruin also. Early on, uh, we do have... As far as like Chronicler of Ruin early hit, um, Avarosen Sentry, the two drop that whenever it dies draws a card, is like our best one. The world awaits. Forward. Show them the might of Noxus. Ow. Gonna do one damage to the three two, so next turn I can uh, do one damage to it and kill it. I'm hoping they play other one toughness stuff. Ash and Katarina. 
they don't, they play something like Katarina, we can Lightning Helix it. Look at that. One toughness. Perfect. Ooh, good luck, Blade. You're on the final boss in the expedition. Good luck. You got this. Don't want them to use the Legion Drummer to give the Rhymefang Wolf uh, first strike. Okay, well, I guess they will. Hey, Vsos. Uh, not for now, playing Legends of Runeterra instead. I have... I switched up the games because I like this one quite a bit. So let's see. We're... We could play Ruination next turn. I'm going to pass, see what they do. I can take like a hit for six. The War Mother will unite us all. If I play Grasp the Undying, I will not be able to play Ruination next turn. If they go straight to attacks... I'll do Withering Whale. I can't just pass first. I would like to be able to pass. You know, I, I wish they would act first. I wish I could just pass and then see if they act. And then if they don't, then still cast it. But if I pass and they just say, okay, un you know, untap and go straight to combat, that could be a problem. Well, that was great for me. They had they didn't play anything. That was great. All right, we need to find our Anivias. Wow, they're just passing again. You know, let's just have a whole bunch of Frostbite stuff in hand. I guess I'll play this thing, I guess. There it is. A true Felionian welcome. My arrow won't miss. Anivia, where are you at? Yeah. Faster than my arrow? I think not. All right, I'm just gonna cast a ruination. Cause I don't really want. I just want to get Ruination out of my hand for whenever we start doing the Anivias and stuff. I'll just keep the Vengeances. But yeah, that, that was going to be my plan was Matron out Anivia, but I'll just wait till this next turn. And just Ruination away the Ash. Yeah, good call. So if I Splinter Soul the Anivia, I'm guessing they get to interact and they maybe just kill my Anivia in response. All right, that'll do. Yeah, they know 
Those Anivias are never going away. Two hundred XP is our first ranked win. Or PvP win that's you know not an expedition. Oh, I like these sentries. I'm gonna get rid of the Withering Whale and keep Grasp. Just keep these sentries. They're out there. I'll spot them. In Avarosa's name. Save your world. We speak with blades. Rex, lucky number 13. Ready the torches. Thank you, Rex. So four mana, they, they probably can't save both things right now. Probably. Where's my hype boats? There's my hype boats. Fifth sub of the day. Hits that sub goal. Okay, maybe they can save both. Okay, they're not saving fewer. Interesting. Oh, I, I don't know why I thought I could play that and then play Chronicler of Ruin. But oh well. That worked out. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. I don't really want them to have another Zed. After using that avalanche, do you still have, like the two ruinations, so I'm not doing too bad. Got 
Still gotta use another spell. It's like they're down to just two cards. It's not very many cards. I will cut you down. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Where's my Anivia's? I can just find an Anivia. Yeah. That can definitely be the hard part, finding an Anivia. Yeah! We did it! Just the way I like it. For the honor of House Laurent. What you got? Single combat. This will be quick. <laughs> so easy. I guess I need um I'm gonna need to kill that thing. Eternal winter! Yeah, Rekindler will make another Anivia now. What happens if I Splinter Soul the egg? What happens? It's probably not good. The egg dies. Okay. So I don't want to do that. The Blade, good guard. job. You got the seven win expedition. Great job. Fiora's going to be the only card that's going to kill me, right? Like, there's no way they win without Fiora. So what happens if I Chronicler of Ruin the Egg? I know, yeah, so I, I just took out all three Fiora, so like I, they have to kill me some other way, but what happens if I Chronicler of Ruin Egg? You get another egg and then the egg turns into a Nivea, right? So like it's good? Oh, don't, no, it's not good, don't Chronicler. Oh, cause you just, you just get, a, you just have the one egg, you don't get a second egg, right, okay. Okay, never mind. No, opponent surrender. We were about to do all the cloning. Now I was going to do the chronicler thing. More cloning. But yeah, once we get rid of all the, the Fioras, they're out of Fioras. They, they can't win anymore. GG's.
Hey, Lazy Destroyer. No, switching over to Legends of Runeterra. This game is awesome. I recommend people playing uh, play this game. I wrote about why there. Oh no, we got the Anivia Mirror. Come on, two drop. Yuck. No two drop. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try the, the Final Fantasy VII demo. Uh, that's the card I want to draw. For the homestead. So I want to, I want to play that and then Chronicler ruin it. There's a scent in the air. Catalyst of Aeons is also besides that I would like to draw Catalyst of Aeons. This is the kind of matchup where you want to draw Catalyst of Aeons. Our homes. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's a play trigger. No. Ah, they have Catalyst of Aeons. Yeah, it's not going well. Yeah, I definitely think it will it will take off short cues and have a competitive side, absolutely. I don't think I have to worry about that too much. Um Well, can't beat that thing. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so the FF seven demo. Um, yeah, I would be interested in that. Gosh, they have another Catalyst of Aeons. This mirror match, the Catalyst is exactly where you want to be. It's like round seven, I have seven mana, they have nine mana. There's not really a reason to wait with Anivia, considering that we have Rekindler that can bring it back and everything. I have no idea what, 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 what that golden guy what you're referring to. I, I have I just have no idea. How do I things in O2? How do I kill a Nivea? I have to kill it and then kill an O2. How do I kill an O2? The only thing I have that kills an O2 is 5 mana. I guess I need a Vengeance plus the 5 mana card.
Oh, right. It doesn't leave combat. I should cast. Uh, this doesn't really matter. I'm going to need to harsh winds this next turn. I think that's my best plan right now is just harsh winds for a turn. Um... Why can't I have one more mana? Wrapped in cold silence. Eternal winter. Why can't I just have one more mana? So I could have cast Ruination. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I could have sequenced like that that entire game just from turn one, I'm sure I could have sequenced better. I don't I don't feel like I sequenced that game very well. Which is which is another thing you know, thing that I really like about this game is playing your decks really well matters so much, it's so skill intensive. And kind of first time on the you know, first time with some of these like new decks with you know, first time in a matchup, I you know, definitely learned a lot playing that and I'll I think I'll play that matchup better the next time, but um you know, I didn't that one and I lost that one. I'll just say I may maybe was wrong about Catalyst of Aeons. We have two in here and I've talked about how I don't really like the card, but in that kind of matchup, my opponent had such a huge advantage because they had multiple Catalysts and I had none. There's nothing to fear. Ah. You will suffer long. Sorry. Should have been heated. Sorry about that. That just means it's my pick on the fantasy baseball draft, but that's supposed to be muted. Sorry about that. My first pick, I got uh, Cody Bellinger. We are now in round 13. I had the fifth overall pick. I got 
Cody Bellinger. Yeah, Trout went first. Right now, I'm debating between Danny Santana to get a first baseman because there's not really a good first baseman left, and I don't have a first baseman. Uh, Jorge Polanco to be like a backup shortstop. I got one shortstop. Or so probably not Jorge Polanco. So either Danny Santana or Sean Manaya to have a good pitcher. Just add another pitcher to the pitching staff. I'm debating between Danny Santana and Sean Manai in my head right now. All right, so we need to draw an Anivia. We got that thing. Please play something pre-combat. Come on. Sorry, they didn't. Yeah, people still watch baseball. So if I need to, I can. All right, so I can grasp also. I didn't want to, but I think I should. <clears throat> so I have five pitchers right now. If I don't take Danny Santana, first baseman, Luke Voigt is the next one off the board in like 50 picks. Um, I was eyeing CJ Crone. We're at like pick 148 right now. I'm eyeing CJ Crone at like pick 290, but I want him to kind of be my backup. There's really not other first basemen that I like at all. All right, I'm gonna take Danny Santana, just because of the position. I I kind of wish I had Sean Manaya though. So that's the third Elise. Three and one. We've just just lost a mirror type match. An Anivia mirror. Our decks felt pretty powerful. We haven't faced we haven't faced um, the buffed elusives. You know, like the sorry the Kinku elusives. We haven't faced that. We haven't faced uh, Ezreal Elnux. Um, haven't faced like ooh spooky karma. Wait, I cannot face Spooky Karma yet. Oh no, Ephemerals. 
All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this, this, and this. Ephemerals just aren't gonna have things that the marksman kills. All right, that's better. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Let's see what's out there. The league that I'm playing in, the fancy baseball league that I'm playing in, is a is different from any other type of league that I've ever played before. Um, it's called best ball, where you just we draft 40 rounds, and every single week, 22 your best like 22 players are scored. You know, like with positionally and everything. But that's it. Like once you draft your team, like that's it. You can't you can't drop and pick people up. Um, you know, so there's no moves to make during the year. <laughs> See, you don't have to worry about, you know, like, you're busy and everything. You don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about it all. You just... A true it's just that's that's all you can do. All in the wrist, see? Look out for Reavers. <laughs> I'll learn the villains. So if I cast and treat... Then I don't have the mana for Grasp of the Undying. So yeah, so so basically this this draft that we're doing is everything. You know, like there's no there's no future moves to make. Leaping into action. And so that's that's why like getting first baseman is important because I can't just like pick up first baseman later. Like so if if you have like a, a if you get a first baseman that gets injured, well then you know you you better have a backup. So you got to have like a minimum two. They score you know, like one first. You have to have a minimum two people at each position, but you really want like three people at each position because you know if people get hurt, <laughs> you better have some backups. Otherwise you're not getting. Get any points. Hey, come on, what? Thanks for the raid. So that's why I'm looking at that first base position. I'm like, well, I have, you know, CJ Crone. I can take him in like a, you know, 150 picks, and he's like, you know, a good flyer. But <laughs> I don't want him to be my main, my main person. I can't pick up anybody else. One candle for every soul. Hmm. <clears throat> Trying to stay alive. Uh, the very, very obvious ruination coming. This is going to be difficult to stay alive. <laughs> oh, I need one more mana.
oh, I need one more mana so I can double Withering Wheel. I guess I shouldn't have played this thing. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have played that 3-1. I was thinking 3-1 block. If it's a fight they want. Yeah, I shouldn't have played 3-1. All right, too many Hecarims. We were close to stabilizing. We were pretty close there. Pretty close to stabilizing. Yeah, Naziel, they, they have, but... Um, I, I just think this is a better game than Magic, and I believe in it, and... And yeah, short term, I, I do have less viewers now, but hope people uh, give this game really, I hope they really give this game a shot because it's, it's just awesome. All right, Fiora. And I wrote about in that Google document why I believe in this game. See the Demastian border from here. Feel the sizzle. Hmm. Probably should have just blocked the first time. Light the signal fires. I expect them just to pass and hold up mana to protect. You're covered. Hmm. Thanks, Nazio. Glad, glad you're still here. So they're going Elnuk Fiora. So I'm doing this, I'm not going to, so I need to Vengeance the Scythria, but I'm going to start with that because I think it's pretty likely that they have barriers, and I mean, I guess I could wait with Ruination, but I'm just going to Vengeance this, and you know, like, barriers don't protect from uh, Vengeance, but they would have protected from that Grasp. We'll get the Grasp out of hand to, to start with. It's kind of weird. Who does not know the name Laurent? <clears throat> All right, they're down to four cards. They got a bull. 
Thanks, Short Keys. Well then. That's... That's gonna need a vengeance. No, yeah, no death touch in the game. The closest there's, there's a Freljord uh, challenger that that has whenever whenever it deals damage to, I mean I guess it has it has death touch whenever it deals damage to a creature with zero power you destroy that creature. So that would be the closest. Surrender! Anivia Tribal! We haven't really been able to like get a whole bunch of Anivias out because all these opponents are just surrendering too fast. Like our deck's gonna be like really cool whenever we get to do that. But people aren't letting us. Like it's gonna be awesome having like three, you know, three, four Anivias in play. But they just can see too fast. So it happened every time here. Okay, here's Kinku Elusives. Finally running into this. The deck that's, you know, probably the best deck in the format. Yeah, we need to find, um, yeah, like Avalanche would be like maybe our best card to draw. Gosh, we, our mulligan has not worked out. Rekindler, Vengeance, like, ugh, mulligan's not working out. Oh, and they got the best possible start, Omenhawk, Conspirator. Ezreal's right there, too. I, I currently think, like, this is one Ezreal's two. But yeah, like those are those are what I consider the top two. Alright, 3 2 Green Glade duo. Means we don't get to kill it with Marksman. Hmm. No Avalanche. Catalyst, I am down to. There's a scent in the air. No avalanche and no ruination. Those, those are certainly two. Like those are, you know, our sweepers are really what we need. Uh, ruination, of course, can get countered. That's good. It's a sweeper. There won't 
Let's be a warning shot. All right, another Catalyst of Aeons. So we have nine mana next turn. I sense a darkness in so we'll play the Matron. And bring out Anivia. Virtually, oh, no. Anivia, Anivia is not... We have not enlightened, so it's only going to do one damage. It's you know it can kill like this thing, but that's it right now. I bring the storm. It's not really a reason not to attack with this thing, as far as I can tell. All right, so they're bouncing that. Don't understand Catalyst of Aeons. Um, Basically, uh, Catalyst of Aeons just gives you, like, lets you ramp so you have, like, right now, like, they, it's turn seven, so they have seven mana, but we've cast two Catalyst of Aeons, so we're at nine mana. You still can't go above ten, but, you know, like, you, you get another, you get another, uh, box into there. So, like, turn eight here, we're enlightened, we have our ten. There's an Avalanche. So by Frostbite, I have five mana left. Let's Frostbite these. Good chance they play something. They probably aren't just passing turn. Yeah, maybe we should just Chronicler Anivia instead of passing. All right, we've got two Anivias out. So whenever we attack, we're going to do four damage. Now we've got three Anivias out. So whenever we attack, we do six damage. <laughs> Anivia Tribal. This deck is sweet. Each one, attack, do two damage to all enemies, that and all these things. All right, they bounce one of them. They do get the free blocks because they're, they're going to die, but they get to block first. Like whenever we go to attacks, they get to go to blockers.
open. A new era begins. Ooh, that's good. That's another Anivia. Six five. All right, GG's. And we are five and two. We're we playing ten matches with our ranked deck. Five and two, not bad. Best way to get champion cards is playing the um, expeditions. They cost the same as a champion wild card basically but you get you can get more you know more stuff than just that even though you do get the random champion you don't get the exact one that you want but just playing expeditions I'm kind of feeling like the callus of Aeon maybe should be a, a three of it has looked solid for us Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of, that's, you know, that's kind of about it. Uh, I pulled the string. You know, besides, besides spending money and everything. Look out for reavers. All right, so Elise is gonna flip. I want to work towards ruination, but Withering Whale is also really good. So we're just going to that's just Catalyst. <clears throat> Oh, that's a problem. Hmm. I stand for Noxus. If I cast Vengeance, then... Uh, If I cast Vengeance, then I don't get to uh, cast Ruination the next turn. So I certainly want to cast Ruination this next turn. So casting the Withering Whale while I'm at twenty, so I don't get to gain three life, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be able to bank two mana and then I get seven, so I can play Ruination whenever I untap. So this is me taking 17. So if, if they have, if they have, if they had two mark of the, I guess if they have another mark of the owls, I die. <clears throat> okay, good. Not another mark of the owls. Okay. 
Yeah, it's an it's an open beta right now. Hey, Snarecrow getting the sub. Thank you so much there, After Wizard. So I'm hoping no no pump spell. Ah, they drew they drew into the other mark of the Isles. Almost stabilized, not quite. The turn that I cast, basically, so where I lost that game was actually the turn that I cast Catalyst of Aeons, because if I didn't cast Catalyst of Aeons that turn, I would have been able to cast Ruination the turn, the next turn. And them having, you know, two of those, um, those big overwhelm creatures, uh, you know, just got me, so. Shouldn't have cast the Catalyst of Aeon, because then also I could have, you know, had a Withering Whale that turn anyway. That was... That was where I messed up. Alright, same matchup. We got a lot of sweepers. Yeah, double crowd favorite was real good. I'll do better this time. There's nothing to fear. See the Nebastian border from here. Safeguard our homes. Not expecting them to block. What's your hurry? Hey, cool APC. Um, not, not for, not for a little while at least. Uh, playing this Legends of Runeterra game because it is awesome. Okay, ready. We could use a bite. Six cards still over there. This lets me keep three uh, three banked mana. Make it easy to play, you know, Withering Whale uh, or Grasp next turn. Karma Lux is definitely up there also. Yeah, that's I think that's it's definitely a top five deck. Come closer. I don't bite. I think Karma Lux is, is real good. Hey, Jay McHugh. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. You'll serve me one way or another. Hear that.
No, of course not, NASCAR father, of course not. So Withering Wheel, just Grasp. And just Grasp Elise. Try to drain three there. All right. Gonna be taking some damage here. So they got, oh no. All right, we'll block Battlecaster, but this is gonna be a healthy hit. Negative two. Yeah, it's a big time hit. I mean, I can block here and go to negative one, but Negative one still dead. Mark of the Isles, good card. Good card. All right, six and three. So, playing against Ez now. I could see Marksman being okay here because they do play a bunch of like the three ones. Like these Icefill Archers and stuff like that. Yeah, the last deck from yesterday, that was the, the Teemo. Uh, trying to make the triple Teemos. All right, we'll get to ramp with Catalyst. Definitely the car they wanted. Don't blink or you'll miss me. So no grasp to take that out. I don't know, is it worth like... I got ways to find me mushrooms. Hmm. Cast like Avalanche. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <coughs> Yay. No. Darn. Nailed it. <clears throat> it's definitely hoping. It's definitely hoping they attacked with the chump bump also when we got to block. That would have been the base, best case scenario, but. I guess it doesn't really make sense for them to do that because of getting a free Mystic Shot. So I guess that wouldn't have made much sense for them. Yeah, so I guess I... Yeah, I probably should have just done the Frostbite on Ez. I think y'all are right.
down to 11. I'm playing Anivia now basically because we have Rekindler. Like, if we didn't have Rekindler, I probably wouldn't. And yeah, I can, yep, I can double, yep, I can double up Anivia. Hmm. Wait, I can't rekindle it right now. No, wind and ice. A world in perfect stone. So yeah, I was kind of scared to, like, with they had so much mana and, so, you know, like, they were going to be able to kill Anivia, I was kind of scared to um, Splinter Soul at that point. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till next turn to rekindle her. I want them to spend, uh, you know, mana cards on the ice veil archers. Because now I'll have enough for rekindle her plus splinter soul. Or, of course, I could just cast a Nivea Splinter Soul as well. Which, that's probably a better thing to do. I'll protect the villages. Actually, no, let's go rekindle her. Because I, I guess I, I may need this Harsh Winds. That's good. So it's all about, right now, it's all about it. Do they have six burn to finish me off? Because they're probably not going to be winning through creatures now. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to... You know, because all they need is, you know, two get excited. Um, or, you know, uh, flipped Ezreal. That's what we have to be, that's what we have to worry about. But we got triple Anivia. Not and ready. Or 
We're make that quad Nivea. basically leveling up <clears throat> leveling up Ezreal and get all the free blocks this turn Down to five. Save the homestead. And Ezreal is leveled up now. We've killed one Ezreal, right? Yes, we killed one Ezreal. I think that was this game. Okay, yeah. So they only have two Ezreals left. Ooh, that's good. Gain three. That's a good card. They don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. We may need that. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. The chill before the chill. No, I mean, they played us because Ez would have killed us because if they would have hit us. I, I don't think I wait because they can just have enough burst spells to kill me. No, please don't kill me. No. Uh, all right, maybe should have waited. Firing. Right. The, the problem is they could just draw it. You know, I, I didn't want them just to get, get to draw a step and draw another card. Because of the burst spells. You would have waited. That's tough. Yeah. Probably would have had me. They, you know, they need that other Ezreal. We came really close. Came really close there after uh, being behind. Need just a little bit more life. Um. <laughs> um. Anyway, yep, it happens. Uh, definitely a fun deck to play. I liked it. I think. Uh, how like after playing it, the Catalyst of Aeons looked good. I kind of feel like we need another Catalyst of Aeons. Um, but then besides that, uh, I understand like in Treat because there's times that you can't find you know that you can't draw a Nivea. But I I think I I would take out in Treat. I think I would I would take that out for the Catalyst um, because. There's just like early on, like you can't, you basically just can't use the two mana. Like you can't spend that two mana because you, all your mana is so important because of how expensive all of these spells are. Um, and you just don't really have time to use that two mana and your deck goes late anyway. All you have to do is draw one of the, one of the three Anivias. 
I I would I would just have it, you know, like if if you know we don't find a Nivea, we don't find a Nivea kind of thing. I would take out and treat. Um So I think I think I would do that and then Maybe just that. I kind of want uh, I kind of want like one other thing against aggro, but I don't know if there is like another. I guess uh the two mana <laughs> puppies growling at um growling at uh, Harvey for the bone. Um, vile, vile Feast? Vile Feast is the card that I was thinking of. There we go. Could could play like a Vile Feast or two just to, you know, do a little bit of draining, get a chump blocker. I wouldn't mind that. Like maybe over like one Splinter Soul and one Chronicler of Ruin. Like the Splinter Soul Chronicle of Ruins didn't look very good. Well... I mean, that's kind of like the whole point of the deck is like later on, but maybe like over a chron like Chronicler seemed kind of slow. Um, the Islander. All right. So the Islander, you grant an ally hand ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. I don't think that that's very important. I don't like that card. I'd rather play the Vile Feast um, because Reducing Anivia's cost by one, making it cost six, doesn't matter as much because you need to be enlightened before you get Anivia back. Like, you really just need to be enlightened. So the fact that it costs six or seven, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, Drain also heals your Nexus. So, like, it does damage and heals you as well. Yeah, telling the rarity of cards are this the little color down here. Green is common. Um, so like these are all commons. Blue is rare, which is like uncommon in magic. Um and then purple is epic, which is like rare in magic. Purple is epic, and then of course the golds are the champions. And the, the champions have their own cool little border. That's how you tell the rarity. But anyway, so yeah, I would I would take out and treat, put in Catalyst of Aeons. And that'd be the first thing. And then maybe like, you know, one or two Vile Feasts instead of like a Chronicler or Splinter Soul. Like instead of a little bit of those, play like, a, you know, a couple of Vile Feasts. Um... And Vile Feast, of course, helps make, uh, what's the name? Withering Will. Help, helps make Withering Will better also. And helps make Avalanche better too. So yeah, Vile Feast could be a good op option. <clears throat> All right, uh, but there we go. So there's Anivia Tribal. Went six and four, first time playing it. I was a little rusty, you know, first time trying the deck. And, and uh, like I said, I'll make those changes for the next time we play because we'll definitely play this one again this was a lot of fun to play get a bunch of anivias all right uh that's it here for anivia tribal though so those y'all watching on youtube hope you enjoyed it and of course if so hit that like button over there and you know feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck or you know if you're you know like this was a user submitted deck if you got your own deck that you've been playing that's uh you know been fun and interesting uh you know leave leave a the code, like the deck list code down below and I'll check it out. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Anivia Tribal and I'll see you for the next video.